word vaccination literally means to inject a vaccine into an animal. But that does not mean that that vaccine, and as I mentioned earlier, our core vaccines are all live vaccines. That doesn't mean that those live viral vaccines infected the cells of the vaccinated dog. And if they don't infect, and they can't when the maternally derived antibody interferes, that would be considered vaccination, but not immunization. By definition, immunization is when the vaccine has stimulated an immune response. And of course, we have to have the infection with those live viral vaccines to get that immunity or that immunization. And so we often do a lot of vaccinating, but we don't necessarily do a lot of immunizing. Now, what's bad about that, you can say, well, if the vaccine hasn't infected and hasn't immunized, then there's nothing to worry about. Well, there is because vaccines actually have many more things than just those agents in there that we're immunizing against, like fetal bovine serum that's part of the tissue culture media, tissue culture cells, etc. And we don't want to immunize against those particular components when we really are hoping to immunize just against the distemper or the parvo or the adenovirus. So the more times we vaccinate the puppy, the more likely it's going to develop an immune response to those things in the vaccine like fetal bovine serum or bovine serum albumin. So. That's, that's one of the reasons that I would like to vaccinate less and immunize more.